a need here. So I was asked earlier today if I could do a quick tutorial on European 4-in-1 chainmail on the BIOS. Well, let's start by explaining what the BIOS is. So BIOS is a term that I used from uh, sewing, fabric that is done on the straight cut, you know, vertical, horizontal lines. That's called the straight cut. But when you work on the diagonal, then it's called the bias cut. One of the advantages to the bias is that it has a stretchability and fabric that the straight cut doesn't usually have. So here you can see a simple European foreign one uh, with the very classic vertical and horizontal patterning. On the other side, this is kind of fun. I wasn't sure how to set this up, so I just uh, put my phone on a music stand and put all the stuff on a mannequin here. So here, it's the European foreign one weave again, but you'll notice that I've just taken an angle out of it. So here's your vertical lines, your horizontal lines. Boy, my hand sure gets in the way. But you can see that it's a piece that I've just cut on the bias. So it hangs a little differently than your traditional European foreign one. This is what it would look like as a bracelet. So the question then is really, how do you make it? Well, it's actually really simple. So let me move this aside. I started with just a very basic four-in-one unit. Okay, so we can see that. I'm going to be working kind of weirdly here. Hopefully this will work. If not, I guess I'll have to film this again. So here's your standard European four-in-one unit. And I'm going to just continue on to the side. It's kind of awkward because I'm just working in a very awkward position. Let me move this here so that you can see it a little more clearly. So you'll see I'm basically just doing a European 4-in-1 unit with another piece to the edge here. And what I'm going to do is just continue working up in steps. So I've got my European 4-in-1 unit. I've moved over one. And you can begin to see how these two rings are now mirrored by these two rings over here. Maybe I can pin this one into place so that it is a little more obvious. So I'm just going to step upwards going through two rings. and then through one. Let me just move this over so it stays in position again. Whoops. <clears throat> and again, I'm going to go through two rings. <laughs> My head pins get in the way there. And one again. So you can see your European patterning with your vertical lines and your horizontal lines. Now you'll notice that at my start, it's kind of missing. So let me just add this one here.
And if I really wanted to continue this and do it properly, I would have I would not have put this ring here. But eh, that's all right because I'm actually having I actually have to make this three rows wide, not just two. So again, I'll try to do this without knocking the camera too much. Go through two rings. Go through one. Pull that up so that you can see the uh, patterning more clearly. Let me grab one more pin to hold that into position. Okay, so now, since I really need this piece three rows wide, not just two, what I'm going to do is add in the extra one ring here. So now it is, it's three rows wide, or three rows, three rows whatever that direction is. And all I'm going to do is continue stepping up in the same pattern. Go through these two. I bet I was in the way of the camera, wasn't I? So I've got three rings in my first row, three rings in my second row. I need three rings in my third row, so I'm going to add it at the top there. How can I pin this for you so that you can see it clearly? I don't know. So row one, row two, row three, and you'll, you'll see I'm just, to add, to continue my step up, I'm just going to add another one there, and then here, and then here. I'm just always adding in the same direction, essentially just making a staircase out of European foreign one. Oh, I've got a pile of finished chain mail in this container. That's weird. Okay, this is horrible positioning because of the camera. Sorry about that. One more ring, well actually two. Trying to do this without knocking the camera and without taking these pins out. It's a great challenge in dexterity. Okay, I've got one last ring to add, which is to this last row. So now you see how oh, it's essentially a staircase of four and one going upwards. So again, it's a very standard European four and one weave, but instead of building it on the straight, I'm building it on a diagonal. There's a lot of things that you can do with this. Essentially, it's the way that you make um, armpits and chain mail for shirts. Uh, I use it for a lot of shaping of different pieces. It's great for making bra cups. Um, it's a great joining piece. And it has the added advantage of having a little bit more stretchability. And my cat says hi. He agrees with everything I say. So the bias cut, it goes on the diagonal. The straight cut goes on the straight. Fairly standard vertical, horizontal rows in the bias weave. It's essentially the same pattern. It's just I'm taking a section out of it to make it in this direction. It gives me a parallelogram 
There we go. It gives me a parallelogram instead of a rectangle. So I hope that was useful. I hope the filming of this wasn't too horrible. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. In the meantime, thank you very much. I'm taking my gloves off so I can uh, put post this on YouTube. Cheers.